we don't do what we love, then we wouldn't exist. It's time, kid. I just have to say, I think there's a lot of women at this point that are trying to audition to me, Mrs. Jordan. Is like, that we'll what just, it is? yeah, but this is the first time you're playing a dad, and I think like that is it harder than the boxing, or was that like the easier part? Like, what was it Wait, having man. the kid on set? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've um, no, I loved it. You know, I've, I've um, you know, I can't wait to be a father. You know, when the right time you know comes for that, and to be able to imagine and make believe that I had a daughter, and you know, and, and have that family was a uh, was uh, it was really satisfying for me. Another great aspect of the film, I love you and Tessa. Like y'all's dynamic is just absolutely amazing, and it really shows black love. But I'd have to say your chemistry with Sly is like my favorite, and yeah. I'm hoping that he maybe let some Rocky Three, Rocky Four nuggets go this time. Like you've been kind of tight lipped. Tell me something they told you from bringing it like from back then that you were surprised about, or what's he like that you people mean, be surprised about? You mean like him, you mean like Rocky or Sly? Uh, like from the filming of the first couple films, like uh, did he bring anything back being like, this is just like what we did, or is there something about him maybe offset that people be surprised about? Sly's a prankster. Yeah, Sly is very mischievous, so he, he, he definitely finds ways to, to stir, stir the pot a little bit on set. Um, you know, he, he's always got a million stories to tell because he's lived so much life and he's been through so much. So to be able to kind of like tell stories or, you know, um, I don't know, like change the labels on things around set. He's just he's just a very mischie mischievous guy. So it's, it's always fun with him on set. I would have been so surprised by that one. Um, I love the film. I'll just go ahead and say it, it was like so much fun, but the training montage. Yes. So how did y'all approach this one? You know, it's very different from the first film, and I think very different from all the other ones. How did y'all approach making this one feel unique? Uh, just trying to see something that hasn't been done before. Yeah. Uh, we haven't we haven't really seen that desert montage before. So, uh, me and Steven, you know, and and Sly also trying to find places uh, to give some grit, but also make sense in the story. Uh, we wanted to, you know, challenge physically what. The one of the biggest things about these montages is what is he learning outside of the ring that he's going to take with him inside the ring that's going to overcome the challenge. And and we wanted, you know, the pain, obviously he needed to be able to take it, the punishment that he was obviously going to get. Um, and it was about endurance. It was like how, how much can you actually endure? So, you know, we took Adonis through hell. Don't do this. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said. And he died right here in my hands. That kid was raised in hate. It's dangerous. 